What y'all doing? Huh? Now you each got your own bed? I decided to put up a hammock. Give it a try. Sometimes at night they're both spread out on each bed and I, you know they, they're getting so old they are have so many problems and I love them so much and I don't like to disturb them and plus I've been having my been waking up all night that's <laughs> my recording from about 10 years ago that lady's from Opelika, Alabama she's dead now but she was 80 something there I think she was 97 when she died. She's quite a lady. I'll talk about it later. The young woman isn't too. She's the one that did the uh, Garden's Diary. Love that show. Anyway. Yeah, I finally got the correct attachments <laughs> or rather the hooks for in the wall to secure this I really like this hammock it's my well I ain't got to worry about the dogs getting on my pillows and they got their own <laughs> I mean I like to keep them separated I, because even though I wash their feet off when they come in the house and, you know, brush them and everything, they still carry stuff in here from outside. Yeah, last night I slept in that. And it's the first night that I have not woke up with my arms asleep. So, <laughs> that was... Uh, <laughs> Blessing. Well, today is August the 10th, 2018. I'm just adding a little bit uh, making this little short one of how I um, fold this up every day and put it up. So the hook's up here, like that. <laughs> Pause my video. Boy, he was young there, huh? About 10 years ago. <laughs> my DVDs. My, uh, that's been a great monitor, computer monitor. And, uh, my old, my other DVD player went out on me yesterday. Uh, this old one, I've got about five or six around here. That one will play this DVD. That particular DVD wouldn't play on the other one, so, <laughs> anyway. This is about the hammock, so. <laughs> then what I do, I just unclip this. It's harder with, because I usually pull with one hand, because it's kind of weighty. All right, and then, see my pillow uh, pad is in there. Just, uh, I'm gonna pause this for a minute so I can put that up. See, and then I put the other end onto that hook with that one. And then I take, I can't do it with one hand to show you, but I grab that band and I pick it up. And I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to pause this. Okay. I picked it up by the band that I tie around the center and I hang it. So I hang it out of the way just like that. And that is a, the twill strap 
it's a hundred percent cotton it's an inch and a half wide I believe um, it's the what I use on the inside of the handles of the totes that I make you know that I cover with um, the material that I'm making the tote out of anyway that's how I do that I'm going to pause this again and take it back down to show you the, the pad itself because I don't think I have that on video. I've got it in some stills, but just hang on. Okay, so I got it back down again, hung back up on the hooks, and so like if I you know, took it back down to sleep in, then I just undo the tie and there's my sleeping pad. And the little bolster pillow. I made the pillowcase to go on it. Out of one one pillowcase, one regular size pillowcase, it made two of covers for my little bolster pillow. Which is about 15 inches long and um, I think it's got about a six inch diameter, seven inch, something like that. These pillowcases are king size, and this is the only king size pillow. Those are queens. Um, I'm actually thinking about just cutting this one down, because it, um, it, it tends to make this stick down like that at night. This is a little small pillow, and I just took a regular pillowcase and folded it shorter to use it. I like to sleep with that too, just like when I lay on my side, I put it between my knees, you know, helps with the aches and pains. Sometimes up under my arm, my shoulder, whatever. But I have been so happy um, with this hammock for sleeping I mean I really think that uh, this this is gonna this is my answer <laughs> my allergies have been so much better and my arms uh, do not go to sleep on me from my neck problem um, my lower back bothers me some but as long as I get on the floor you know regularly at least a, you know two three times a week I should do it every day, but do my um, back exercises because I have damaged disc in my lower, my lumbar. And as long as I do that, I'm do pretty good. Um, I've got this fairly low to the floor. They say don't put it over 18 inches high. And I had it a little higher, which was not good to get in and out of. This is easier to get in and out of right here. Uh, a, it was a little learning curve for me, but yeah, I am very, very happy with it. Well, I am going to tie this back up. <laughs> what you doing so, Zoe? Think I'm going to bed? Huh? You think I'm going to bed? I'm not. <laughs> what do you got on your nose, girl? What is that? Something from breakfast. <laughs> You want me to take you outside? Is that what you want? Uh, you want to go potty? Oh, she knows that word. Yeah, I'm fixing to run up to the store, pick up an order from Walmart. I I ordered. Um, it's a lot easier to just order. You, that way I get what I need on my list. And this is like my toilet paper and, you know, that sort of stuff, household stuff. And if I don't go in that store, I won't spend money that I don't have to be spending. So, I uh, will stick to my budget. What are you doing under there, silly girl? So, I really like the Walmart order thing. I ordered it last night. I set it up this morning to go pick it up. And I'm getting ready to do that. So, they went out early. It's about 10.30 now, so I'm going to take them out again before I leave. Anyway, that is uh, 
my project finished finally. This pillow case, uh, in case you didn't see the blog, it's on my blog. Um, you sew the pillowcases together. And that way you can just insert pillows in it. Just pull the pillows out, throw the four pillowcase in the washer together. They're sewed together about the side seam, you know, one side seam. And, uh, I mean, it's no different than washing a sheet. Probably could flip this over and get more use out of the other side of it for a while. <laughs> Especially if you were camped, you know, someplace you didn't want to have to go uh, find a good camping spot. You can stay for a couple weeks. You wouldn't have to leave. Yeah, I'm definitely going to incorporate this as my bed into my van build or my step van build or whatever I end up doing after I finally get this place sold. So I better end this little video right here.